Hi, Jimmies. I'm Dr. Paul Olson, the provost here at UJ. And as you know, we're doing a transition to online education uh, across the board for all of our undergraduates here. And I wanted to talk to you today uh, about some tips for succeeding online. Uh, also, uh, as you can probably guess, I'm in 306 Tabor. We wanted to make sure that uh, you know that Dr. Lang misses having all of you here on campus and you probably miss him as well. And we wanted to bring you a couple of items to, to remind you of home here on campus. So remember, Tom Selleck is always watching over all of us. So when you're online, there's a couple of things that you can do to really help yourself be as successful as possible. The first thing that you have to do online, more so than face-to-face, -face, is you need to get and stay organized. That's really, really important. Uh, in order to do that, you really need to know what the schedule is like for all of your classes, and you need to be checking your email at least a couple of times a day and checking my UJ at least once a day to make sure that you're up to date on all of your classes. Uh, you need to figure out, are some of the assignments for my classes changing now that we're moving online? You're going to be getting some updated syllabi uh, from your faculty members. Go to the assignment part right away and figure, figure out how are the assignments changing. And then also, part of being organized is knowing where you can go for help. Uh, see what faculty members are doing for virtual office hours. Uh, see if they're using the big blue button or Zoom. Um, and figure out what, of, what some of our other resources are like now that we're online, uh, like the Writing Center through WC Online, what tutoring might look like online. So get organized. It's going to make life a lot easier for you if you do. The second uh, piece of advice that I have for you if you want to be successful as we transition to online is to avoid multitasking. I know that this is really tough. I struggle with it myself. I've got my laptop open. I've got my phone out. Uh, I'm listening to music while I'm trying to do um, something for work. I'm working on a spreadsheet or whatever the case might be. When you're doing online education, you need to avoid multitasking, though. If you're streaming something on Netflix or Disney Plus while you're trying to watch uh, an online video of one of our professors, it's going to be tough to get all of that content. So avoid multitasking as much as possible. It's going to lead to mistakes. Uh, it's going to make the assignments harder to do. It's going to just generally make it more difficult to concentrate on your materials. Best advice I can give you for avoiding multitasking is to work in shorter bursts of 20 to 25 minutes and then take five or 10 minutes off. Get your social media checked during those little breaks and then come back and be ready to focus for that next 20 to 25, maybe 30 minutes. The third uh, piece of advice I've got for you is make sure that you watch all of the recorded lectures and labs and other videos that are posted by our faculty. And like I said, make sure you're not distracted while you're watching them. Watch them in real time and then go back and re-watch them if you have the opportunity. Take notes just like you would in class and don't rely on the fact that, well, it's posted, I can then go back and check on it later that going from the video and audio to the writing it down, that's an important part of the learning process. Duplicate that as much as possible while you're watching the videos. The fourth one, and this one's gonna be tough, is do the best you can do to set a schedule and have a routine. One of the things that our students do very well here on campus is get into a routine. If you're in the arts, you know when you normally rehearse you know when you normally set practice time aside. You know when your classes are going to be. If you're an athlete, you know when you're supposed to practice every day. You know when you're supposed to lift. You know when you go to class or lab and how it all fits together. You have a routine. You're not going to be able to duplicate that routine right now. But do the best you can to set a new routine. If you're used to doing class at 9 in the morning, do some of your classwork at 9 in the morning to the best of your ability. If you're used to working out at 4 or 5 or 6 o'clock at night, use that as a time to go outside and go for a jog. You know, use that as a time to do push-ups or, you know, sit-ups or whatever other type of workout you can do in the environment that you're in. Uh, number five is adjust 
your, adjust to your strengths. Uh, you know what works for you in terms of study habits. Some of those are going to be broken up. Find little ways to adjust those, those study habits that work for you. If you're used to studying in a coffee shop and you can't go to a coffee shop to study right now, make yourself a cup of coffee at home and study with coffee so you still have that same sort of, of environment as best as you can do it. If you're used to studying with a group, do your best to study with a group. It just might have to be online. Uh, use different uh, online, uh, online services to, to meet with friends and to study together and to talk about uh, the work that you're doing for class. If you've got questions that your friends are normally uh, answering, FaceTime them uh, and get, you know, get that sort of interaction there. Uh, I know that this, you know, when we're spread apart like this, it might be an introvert's dream, but you still need to stay connected with each other. And that's the last piece of advice that I have is stay connected. The people is what makes the University of Jamestown so special. Um, and it's not just the faculty, it's not just the staff, uh, it's the students. You, you are what makes the University of Jamestown what it is. And we want you to stay connected with each other. Make sure that you are using FaceTime and other online uh, apps to be connected with each other. Um, don't use this as an opportunity uh, to sort of drift off uh, by yourself, but instead make a conscious effort to stay connected to each other, but also to faculty and staff. We're all in this together right now. We want you to have the best possible semester that you can have given the current situation that we're in. And if you stay connected, we can make that happen. Uh, being a Jimmy is an incredibly important thing in my life. I know it's an important thing in your life. And stay strong. We're going to get through this together. Good luck, Jimmies.